I'm a maniac, maniac, beneficial mite. And I'm gonna crawl around your plants all day and night. Hey guys, it's Lindsay with All The Plant Babies and I'm super excited right now because guess what just arrived on my doorstep? My beneficial mites that I'm going to be using to prevent harmful pests on my plants. So let's go inside, open these bad boys up and see what they can do. Quickly, I'm going to open up my box of beneficial mites. These happen to be from Nature Good Guys, but you can also order them from Arbico Organics is another good company here in the US. First thing they pack in here is a handy dandy sticker for marketing purposes. Next in the box are the disbursement pouches, which I highly recommend that you order with your beneficial mites. A nice guide to predatory mites. I really like Nature's Good Guys educational material. Nice and simple for us visual learners. Does anyone else get this excited over beneficial bugs? I don't know. The first time I ordered these, I was so freaked out, but now I'm just freaking excited. Okay, so the funny thing is, is that most people are afraid to order these during the winter because they think that it will be too cold to ship these mites. However, even in freezing Chicago winter, they ship these with an ice pack. So don't worry, they will be just fine in the winter. Set that aside and now for the good stuff, the mites themselves. Now this is a special blend of predatory mites. I'm going to attempt to pronounce the four types of mites in this bottle. P. persimilis. N. Californicus, Amanda Hug and Kiss, and IP Freely, subject to availability. So this is the packaging up close that the mites come in. I got 2,000 of these special predatory mites. And here's a close-up of the mites crawling around in the bottle. This is a lot of mites crawling around at one time in one spot. When you put them on your plants, you will not see this many crawling around all at once. That would be crazy and gross. So before we get started with the actual releasing of the mites, I just want to address that I'm wearing a winter hat inside because one, it is like negative five degrees outside here outside Chicago, and two, I happen to be the epitome of fashion. Now, the first thing you want to be aware of before you buy or release beneficial mites is that ideally you want your humidity range to be between 40% and 90%. As far as temperatures go, as long as your room temperature or grow tent temperatures between 43 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit, you are good to go. Ideally, release your beneficial mites in the morning or in the evening when temperatures are the coolest and turn your grow lights off. For the sake of this video, I'm going to leave my grow lights on. Next, they say to mist the leaves of your plant. If you're not big on misting your leaves because you wanna reduce the risk of any bacterial or, or fungal infection, that's cool. Don't mist your leaves, especially if you're already keeping the humidity high in your grow tent or your room. However, just to keep this video interesting, I'm gonna start misting. Now, if you're using these mites to treat an active spider mite infestation, which I'm not, 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 I'm using them preventatively, but if you're using them to treat a spider mite outbreak, 
you are going to want to use two to four mites per square foot. And if you're using them to treat a heavy infestation, you'll want to use five to 10 mites per square feet. Obviously, you can't measure out how many mites you're using at a time, but that helps when deciding how many mites to order. I, however, do not like math, so I just order 2,000 mites because I just want a shitload of mites that are going to cover all of my plants. And then when they are done looking for anything that's suspect, they eat each other and disappear. Okay, so now that our leaves and plants are humid and misted and ready to go, we're ready to release our beneficial mites. I'm going to take one of my handy dandy envelopes that I ordered along with the mites. If you did not order one of these, you could use any envelope or you can just sprinkle this directly onto the top of your potting media. And they sealed the top here with tape so that no sneaky little mites can crawl out of the top. And you'll want to shake the bottle slightly. You can see there's little bits of corn or vermiculite actually, I believe it is, that the mites adhere to. Shake it up. And you're ready to pour some of the vermiculite into the envelope. When you open the top, however, note that the mites are going to go gangbusters and crawl all over your hands. So you gotta be really careful and close the lid really quickly. Or you can place the lid on top of your plants and let the mites crawl into your plants and just start pouring away into envelopes. And just know you might have to do some squishing and squashing on your hands. I ordered 2,000 mites, so there's a lot of mites in here. If you are starting off for the first time, I recommend you order a small amount, like 500 mites, so that it is not such a wild experience and you only have a few mites to deal with when you open Pandora's box. Whew. Now I'm putting a lid on it to take a break. They are crawling on the outside of the tube, so I like to allow some of them to crawl onto a leaf. And you all know that alocasias seem to spontaneously birth spider mites. So I'm going to put an envelope of beneficial mites on every alocasia that I can. And then let them crawl out and do their thing. I don't have any active spider mite outbreak right now, but should there be a hidden egg or mite somewhere, these hungry guys are gonna find them. That's all there is to it. Just let them do their thing and search for all the bad bugs and hopefully eat them all. If you have an active infestation, you'll want to follow up with another release of beneficial mites in another few days, um, or follow up with the customer service team at Nature's Good Guys or Abico Organics and ask them how often that they think you should be releasing the type of mites or predatory insects that you have purchased. It'll be different for every type of outbreak and the level of infestation that you have. I hope you found this video useful. If you like the video by all the plant babies, hit subscribe.